postman Pat and his black and white cat. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, postman Pat, postman Pat and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Everybody knows his bright red plan. All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them. Maybe you can never be sure they'll be knock. Bring letters through your door. <laughs> Post Post 2040 AD. It is the future. The postal system as we know it has collapsed and the world has descended into turmoil. It is a chaotic and mad world. Only Pat could make the difference. Joey Thompson, son of Dorothy and Pat, is the man at the center of the trouble. He is the only one who can rescue the world from postal collapse. This action is a moving tribute to Pat and how he saved the world. Joey grew up in Greendale and attended the local primary school. He then went to the new grammar school in Pincaster and had many successful years there. Joey left for the University of Pincaster with top grades in each of his subjects, economics, social studies, and maths. At university, he chose to study postal management and achieved the highest honors in his field. Joey, now Professor Joey Thompson. Head of Postal Communications and Biotechnology at Pincaster University, was established well in this area, was snapped up by the Royal Mail, and became manager of his local division. It was just two years before he was promoted to manager of his county, and after a further seven years of hard work and endeavor was made head of the company itself. At this time, Royal Mail was the leading postal system in the UK and had 40 foreign offices in 29 countries. Under the leadership of Joey, the company became a world leader, renowned for efficiency, reliability, and customer etiquette, based on the principles of his father. Yearly profits had reached a peak, and the company was expanding rapidly. However, this honeymoon period with Joey at the reins was not to last. Joey was to encounter more than his fair share of trouble. A rival company, Virgin Post, led by Richard Branson too, wanted to dominate the market. They were prepared to do everything they could to do this. Branson owned most of the world after a successful hostile takeover bid ten years earlier and ever since was trying to find a way to conquer Britain. Branson may have renamed the USA to Virgin America, killed off British Airways in a bitter air-to-air -air combat mission assassinated, Rupert Murdoch took, over Microsoft and, circumnavigated the world on a kite. However, he hadn't significantly impacted the worldwide postal system and still hadn't reached his ultimate aim, to conquer Britain. His analysts from Virgin America speculated that the key to Britain was to take over the postal system and influence the British monarchy. Joey was determined to stop Branson. He couldn't let it happen. A bitter war broke out between postal workers. What could Joey do? There was only one solution, take DNA from his dead father, Pat, and clone him. Luckily for Joey, when Pat died, it was the prison policy to freeze the dead bodies, so it was easy to resurrect him. With his dad's DNA and his knowledge of biotechnology, he created the ultimate bionic postal worker who could deliver posts efficiently and reliably. Here is what he made. Robopat top speed. 50 ms average cruising speed. 25 ms, wind plus or minus 0 ms, deliveries. 10 per second, assuming terraced housing with 10 meters between each door, 
sorting speed, 400 letters per second, assuming letters are of standard postcard size, stamping speed, 2,076 letters per second sustainable number of dog bites, 4,562 weight, 140 kilograms height, 2.11 meters power supply, mini cold fusion reactor housed in a rigid metal case at the base of the spine, 400 GW power output, coolant system, liquid nitrogen chassis, super aerodynamic titanium molded body with platinum coating and completely recyclable sight, infrared dog seeking pupil equipped with night vision character, able to consume 4 cups of tea per hour, equipped with programmable conversation scenarios, able to smile and say cheerio in 23 different ways and in 78 languages, not fit to have political views, cannot criticize or complain etiquette, able to close garden gates in approximately 0.25 ms, trained to make use of any lavatories and able to eat cookies without spilling crumbs terrain, maximum climbing gradient 72 degrees, can withstand snow 1.2 meters deep weather, prepared for all eventuality, can withstand winds up to 104 miles per hour, remote communication, equipped with an implanted transmitter to send and receive information to and from post office HQ miscellaneous, is equipped with a rotating cannon and trained in basic first aid. It was important for Joey to manufacture the postal workers quickly. Richard Branson had started a dirty tricks campaign. Royal Mail workers were suspiciously disappearing, and rumors were circulating that they were being brutally killed. Royal Mail was losing money, and Virgin Post, the new rival company, was beginning to get a foothold on the market. So they did it. Royal Mail introduced Robopat. Robopat proved an industry success. Despite a few days of door-to-door -door bust ups between rival postal workers and the odd mass brawl, Robopat proved too strong. Royal Mail dominated the market, the Virgin Corporation went bust, and Britain returned to normal. Postman Pat may have passed away, but his life and soul live on in the form of Robopat. Joey couldn't have rescued Britain or the worldwide postal system without Pat. The postal system lives on. Postman Pat and his black and white cat. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Everybody knows his bright red plan All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them Maybe you can never be sure they'll be knock Bring letters through your door <laughs>